Nun tas din brach rishon be yitzer ve hesif and barachata shamu kinama chazam yitzer ve cheshach. The beginning of the the birchus kishon in the morning. Tikna azke midas vayel biyim. And the chazam were misaken that we should mention the night time. I mean, very cheshach during the day, and the same thing we do at night. The same um, the gain alarm in the cheshach cheshach and the air. We should mention both the day and the night. And the reason for that is gahitim leif happy kersim to to go away from the opinion of the minim. Shemim shemish lebaru arge baru cheshach. Is to deny that we have to we have to mention it as part of the mitzvah, the way Chazal was in the brach and tov the amar hashir bidvaru manu varav, and therefore because of this requirement that you have to mention both, with the following halacha: if he made a mistake and he started davening a ma'ira, here his kriyashma he started hashir bidvaru manu varav and v'niz kamiyad and he remembers right away, the amar yitzer v'gam siem yitzer meres yaltsis he remembers right away he corrects himself he he doesn't repeat the first words baruch ata he just starts again with the word yitzer er. Goes to make a bracha and says it correctly. He's yaitzer. Aval im amar pidu varu mari varav v'lei amar yaitzer ard. If he sa- said with the mite of bracha and he never said yaitzer ard v'noi noi siem yaitzer hamaeris or he didn't conclude the bracha correctly with saying yaitzer hamaeris, no yatsi. He was not yaitzer. V'im amar yaitzer ard v'erecheshach asher bidu varu mari varav v'gam siem mari varav v'lei yatsi. So if he started correctly, but then he didn't conclude the bracha correctly, he was not yaitzer. Haga, v'hu adin im lay amar tachil rak yaitzer ar im siem matter varav im layatza. If he just said the word yaitzer ar, but he uh, and just finished with the bracha of matter varav and he wasn't yaitzer again because the the important is that he has the correct not only the correct opening of the bracha and the correct text of the bracha, but also the correct chasima of the bracha. I mean, siem yaitzer ma'iris. However, if he concluded the bracha correctly with the word Yetzir Meris, then she pasuk Yetzir Ard, and he started with Yetzir Ard, Afilpi she hipsik the Yatsa, Afilpi she hipsik the Mar of Aravim, he's still Yetzir, um, but even though he mentioned in the middle the the sugi of Mar of Aravim, again it's part of the um, once he started with Yetzir Ard and he concluded the bracha properly with the phrase Yetzir Meris, even if he said the nusach of Mar of Aravim in the middle, it's going to be okay. The diavid. Yesh Emnam Sha Kedusha should be Yetzer. That in the middle of the Brach we say Kedusha, and some say that Kedusha Yachid Emra. Even a person who's dying be a Chilus of the Minion should say it. Because it's not saying Kedusha, saying Kedusha obviously only done with the Tzibur. I mean, this is just mentioning how the Malachim say Kedusha. Yesh Emnam, however, there's another opinion that says She Yachid Medalga that a Yachid should skip the um, Kedusha, because you should only say it with Tzibur. And the Beis Yosef is machriya that we should be choshesh for the opinion of the machmirim. And therefore, if a yachid wants to say it, he should say it with trap, like he's saying when he's reading a pasuk from Torah. And that way, it's clear that he's not being yotze kedusha now. Haga uchfar pasha the minig kedar yishena. However, the minig bashkenazim is like the first shita that we do say kedusha, even when down in biachidus. The yachid oimer oisen when a yachid should say it. On the mission verse says it's still better if if you happen to know the trap to to say it with the trap to be yotze also like the mechaber. Um, but the minig is even if he d- wouldn't be able to say it with, with the trap. He could go ahead and say it like the psak of the Ramah here. When we answer this kedusha, um, meaning when it's said b'tzibur, when we say it out loud, um, and the Mishnah adds, and also it should be said the chachim of most seated. Birchas yotzer ve'arvis oimer im shliach im shliach tzibur benachas. The bracha of yotzer and also the birchas kishma at night. Should properly be said along with the shliach tzibur. He's talking over here in a place where the shliach tzibur is noeg, and this is still done by the svarim to say the entire bracha out loud uh, to be motzi people who were not able to be yotze, uh, who didn't uh, were not able to say it themselves. I'm sorry. So he says the proper thing to do would be to say it along and not rely on what he's saying. Hagavi maher gesayim kodem shisayim shliach tzibur. You should try to be quick to finish the bracha before the shliach tzibur. Beyond Amen Achish Shriach Tzibur, so you'll be able to answer Amen. The Shriach Tzibur says Yitzah Meiris. Umiu imlay Amra Rak Shema Mishriach Tzibur Yatz. If you do not say the bracha at all, you just listen to the Shriach Tzibur saying the bracha with kavanah to be meitzi. The bracha is Engel. Is Yitzah Yatz. The bracha is Engel. Shriach Tzibur meitzi Yachad. Afal Pishubaki. He he is allowed to rely on the Shriach Tzibur. Umiu ena Shriach Tzibur meitzi hayachad bepachas nesara. It's only be true if there was a minion, though. If there was not a minion. The Shriach Tzibur would not be able to be meitzi. Anyone 
with the the brachas of Kriya Shema, because this is for Weichaz and Ramasakin, and that they could Shechzer could only be Motzi someone if there is a minion. The Gemara is saying that it's it's not really common that the Shechzer has kavana for this. Just says the bracha and loud, which is certainly someone should say the bracha. So, you should not say Amen after Avarabar, Avasayim, the second bracha. You should not say Amen there. You should not have a hefsik, because that would be considered a hefsik. We're going to see that it's Mansan Khanof, that's the Minag Bashkinasim, is not saying like this. In Tabe Virkas Yoitzer, if a person made a mistake in the bracha of Yoitzer, be inyan shetzer chamed acher tachtav. Now someone has to replace it, meaning the Yochazen. If he's already said the Kedusha, um, the new Chazan does not have to start again from the place and repeat the Kedusha, being started again from the whole beginning of the Bracha, it would be enough for him to start from the place where the first Shliach Tzibur left off, which would probably be at, at Malkil Baruch, or, or even if he's in the middle of it, he's at Vaifan, and it's, he wouldn't have to, to repeat, repeat the beginning part. God, I know Shamaskam, Kedusha, the Elohim, Tok, Kedim Kedusha, Zerchaskam, but if however he made a mistake before the Kedusha, he would have to start from the beginning. And again, this is not uh, really relevant to Zman Azeb, where the Sheikh says nothing made to anyone. So someone else who's been saying the Brach will, will, will go over to the Ahmed and continue from wherever he was holding.